welcome to episode 23 of the Boku Cast. With your host, well, me, Boku Satsu, and uh, I'm here to talk about a lot of things. I always say that, but this one's actually, this one's actually uh, important. Hold on. Let me go meet my phone. Okay, better. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, tonight we're going to talk about a lot of things. <laughs> Some stuff, some stuff going on in my life. Black History Month, Lightning Collection, Toku Toys, and uh, talk, and I want to talk about a certain J drama show. Me and my friend, or me and my friend watch. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so let's okay, so let's talk about Lightning Collection first. Okay. Okay. Let me say it nice way. I'm gonna try not to rant that much into the mic. Please forgive. Pre- Please forgive me for that. I'm not gonna try to rant in the mic. I'm gonna say it the nicest way possible. But uh, Hasbro. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna sound mean for saying this to you guys. You, I know you guys. I know you guys are under a lot of pressure. That's all. Totally, that's that's totally fair, understandable. But as a consumer, I have the right to say that. But uh, what is up with the horrible QC issue with that brand lately? Because my God, I never expected a a twenty five figure a twenty five figure toy line, no, a twenty dollar figure toy line to be this crap. They had no, that this much crap in it. Like for fuck's sake. So no, excuse me, later, But my God, you guys are you guys are almost on the same level as Tamashi Nation and that garbage QC issue with Dragon Ball figures. And uh, if you're a Dragon Ball collector who, co- who collect figure arts for the Dragon Ball line like me, then you know what I'm talking about. Because man, man, <laughs> this is giving me the same energy as that. Fuck's sake. And the worst part that both, the worst part that both toy brands are created in, in Vietnam. Yes, I know, I know. Some, I know. Half, half them are. Half them, half them are made in China, which are good. But the ones created in Vietnam are complete shit. I say that because well, I have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, my created in Vietnam, and he's a decent figure. He's actually really good. He, he's my favorite figure of 2021. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta came out like what? I think China? And uh, well, shit. He, he's one of my favorite figures from last year. But Hasbro. Why is it. Is it this hard just to ask for a decent figure? Like for fuck's sake. I prayed for like what? Like for what? Five years, I think? Five fucking years? Five let's see, twenty seventeen, no, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. Four years that I waited four years to have my S P D team completed and yet to find out that through like all the releases S P D figure, you made to fuck them up, all of them. To the morphers, the incomplete weapons, and uh, the effects you get them are so god awful and lazy. Just stop putting effects in the weapon for peace sakes. And also the size height too. Don't get me started on the size height. Oh my god, the the size height, the the size the size and height for those figures aren't even the exact same. <laughs> Just saying. Hasbro, you Hasbro. I remember you guys saying back in like what I think 2018. I remember watching from, like, from an MMPR video that he said that you guys said that uh, you wanted to create a Power Ranger line that like Marvel Legends. But I'll be honest, with you, you guys treat Marvel Legends way more than Power Rangers. Now just Marvel Legends, same for Star Wars, same for Black Series, for for Transformers, for. Uh, like for what, Ghostbusters or whatever? Yeah, you gotta treat Power Rangers like crap. Why do you think? Why do you guys think that the community hates your guts? Because this poor extra shoot, this poor extra get off what? Sorry, this poor extra shoot, extra shoot. Fuck, damn it! <laughs> what the heck? This poor lack of quality. Okay, should not be should not should, should not have happened. I can say. And the fact that uh, I, the fact that I was so nervous 
to go pick up a buy time for blue that side not to go get one because my god <laughs> after seeing all the crap that happened with that figure last year yeah now I'm skipping it it sucks it's kind of actually like time for it one of my favorite seasons I want to complete that team so badly but I can't but I can't because I'm scared that the f I might get a bad copy I mean for fuck's sake half my fi no all my figure like collection have have shit have shit QC issue. The weapons defect, the paint apps, it's so dry for the weapon, it fucks up. And uh, it leaves fucking black marks on my ranger hands. On the ranger's hands. Every time I put a weapon on, why not put a fucking sword on them? It happened to SPD blue. It happened to in space red. It happened to down charge green. Hell, I think it happened to my zero red right now. Shall I keep going? Like, my god, the pain that for the weapon aren't even fully painted. What the hell? Like, <laughs> last year, last year I went to Myers and I found the la I found the latest Ray Lightning collection, all four. In Space Pink, Zero Yellow, Phantom Ranger, and Down Charge Green. I was excited. I bought the whole Ray. I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is my lucky day. I bought the whole Ray. Oh, fun fact. Fun fact. This, this, happened, this, this happened before Christmas last year, so yeah. <laughs> And, well, I opened them, I played with them, and, uh, I played with my Down Charge Green. I fucking love that figure, by the way. But, uh, the more I played with him, I found out that his sword wasn't fully painted. And, uh, the pink, and the black, and the, and the black pink, paint from the sword got on his, was stuck to his hands. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Hasbro. Thanks, Hasbro. And don't get me started on Down Charge. Not Down Charge. Down Fairy Green right now. My God, that figure. I think I could play my best. I think the best by what I said in my latest review today for Aguilera. That uh, I compare it to, I compare her to Izzy figure. I said, I and I said and I said this. I said this with a fact and being honest. I think Down Charge Green. In t right, right next to Time Force Blue, in my opinion, is probably the the most controversial figure in the whole line. Cause my God, that's blue. How, 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 how? Don't get me started on Merrick. We're not talking about Merrick, no. But my God, has blue. How? How the fuck are you? How? Who the fuck's keeping an eye on this brand? Like, I fucking love the last. The last Power Ranger reveal, that felt like, that felt like everyone there knew what Power Ranger was all about. And I love that energy. Keep that team. But, my God, Hasbro. Who the hell's making these figures in Vietnam? <laughs> because this, because this should be happening. Hell, these figures should be made in China, just like Marvel Legends. But yet, No. You gotta treat Marvel Legends way more, way, way more respect. So you treat Power Rangers like shit. What the hell? And no, I'm not canceling my late pre-order of the next wave. Fuck no. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play every team, by the way. Don't wanna say that. I'll say this right now. I'm not canceling any pre-orders. No, but I am gonna be on the fence for now all about what figures to get for this brand because of how, well, because because well. How crappy these figures are being lately. I've been seeing all day on the timeline and yesterday, this past whole week, about Don Fair Green having a missing head, missing weapon, a missing face scope, by the way, for her helmet, and now uh, the figure broke like a freaking trick. My God, Hasbro. <laughs> this this should be happening. This should be happening. <laughs> because you guys you got my god, you guys should be like Tamashi. Tamashi isn't a perfect company. Oh no, no no no. As a consumer who buy their products for Dragon Ball, Marvel, well sometimes Marvel, but mostly Dragon Ball and Common Rider, I can pretty much say the benefit of the doubt that all my figure arts have QC issues. Some tight, some loser joint. Other ones broke on me, sadly. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. But yet, yeah, at the same time, through years and years, Tamashi's gotten better with their quality, 
controller. After years and years, Tamashi got better with the quality control for figures, in my opinion. For example, I have right next to me the uh, P Bandai Super Saiyan 2 event exclusive Goku. And uh, I fucking love this figure. It's one of my favorite figures of last year, of Fonbo mentioned. One of my favorite Dragon Ball figure arts, just to clarify. And uh, this figure, in the beginning, when I, opened, when I first got the figure of uh, Big Bad Toy Store, he was tight and really annoying to pose. But after like a couple of months passed as I got him, he's very poseable now and decent. I love that. So Hasbro, why can't you not take a page out of Tamashi's book? Like just saying. Like again, Tamashi made Tamashi made the fifth year quality for the Dragon Ball line. But I did not say that so Tamashi made Tamashi made the fixed quality for like figure line years after years after years past. Now if we're gonna be honest, I think Tamashi's worst toy line for for Kamen Rider, the Saber line, I just I just hate that line. I'm a hypocrite for saying that I have to say Bella. And that figure is not perfect, no, but uh, my copy is really good, so yeah. I hate Blade Dragon. He fuck <laughs> My god, I hate that figure so much. <laughs> His visor popped off. Same for Zink, Lion Zenki. Espada's really good. Honestly, yeah, honestly, Espada's my second favorite from the Saber line. He's decent, but uh, I fucking hate how yeah, his how yeah, his damn sword cannot hold his hand. Cannot hold be, hold on his fucking hands. That annoying me. And Jello Dragon, I hate that. I hate that figure. I hate that damn. I hate that damn big bulky chest piece. That figure is so bulky that I just. I yell at myself saying, why the hell did I buy it? Or oh, that's right, I need a caliber in you know, about Jakku Dragon. <laughs> Jao Dragon sold out. <laughs> Wait a minute, was it Jao or Jakku? No, it's Jakku, okay. Yeah, it's Jakku. The big bulky caliber second form. I have that figure. And I hate it. So yeah, moving on. And uh, yeah though. Hell. The fucking revised line from what I'm looking at looks really good. I said to, I said to my friend that uh, the revised figure line not getting a saber treatment, and that's really good. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of revise, I can say better than a doubt that their figure arts are really good. Well, Aguilera is Aguilera is mid. Aguilera kind of mid in my opinion. Even though even though I like that figure, I have it right next to me on my desk. But uh, if you watch my review, you know you know how I feel about that figure. But uh, yeah, yeah. Besides Aguilera, all the real figures that I have in my collection are very good. Maybe okay. Vice is actually the best figure between the two of them. Evil spectacular. Evil Evil is a spectacular figure. Love that figure. One of my favorites of last year. And Demon is good and awesome. <laughs> He's a little tight, but at the same time, him and Evil are my him him and Evil are my two favorites from that line. So yeah. But uh, yeah, to, but yeah, Hasbro, I don't see you guys improving. Sometimes you do, but guess what? You guys, <laughs> you guys, your fucking uh, downtown yellow figure isn't the your downtown yellow. Your uh, the the downtown yellow figure you made. Now I said this on my top ten video last year, but uh, for those that don't know, last year. That figure broke on me. How, Broku? Well, I off my own business one time. I off my own business and want to pose her and take a picture of her. But uh, out of nowhere, um, before I, before I got my camera, I got everything set up for my for, got everything set up to take a picture of her. The figure arm snap on me because it was fucking double pegged. Now here's the thing: I actually hate I actually hate double pegged lightning collection figures. I say the nicest way possible because it's the easiest way. It's the easiest way for a figure to break, and that pisses me off. Like, I have Beast Morpher Yellow down fair green, but at the same time, if I put if I put the peg too much, I feel like I feel like the figure can break on me. Oh my God, Hasbro, why the hell can you not work on new pegs like fucking SA Figure Arts? Year after fucking year, they managed to fix the damn pegs for the figures. Hell, 
even for Sengoku Seho, not all, but still. So why the hell can you guys, why the hell are you guys so stubborn? Why the heck are you guys so stubborn for doing that? Like, this is coming, from, let me say this. For me saying this, this is coming from a consumer standpoint. And as a consumer who buy your products, I have my right and valid criticism for you guys. You may not like it, but it has to be said. So, yeah. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> this shouldn't be happening, though. Like, fuck. I, I love SPD. It's my favorite power of the season as a kid. It still is. And I love Decker Ranger. We all know this. And the fact that my and the fact that my favorite Sentai team slash Power Rangers team is almost completed, but yet there's through the whole year through, through the whole year of that of that team and the bizarre issue that has with that fifth of the figure, it's abysmal and baffling. I want to. I wanted to have all the SPD Rangers hold their morphers. But no! I, no! I, no! No! I don't want... I can't even do that. But I could do it. But at the same time, I don't want to put those morphers in the exact same pictures. Fuck no. Look disgusting. Ew. Like, you had a perfect... Like, you did a perfect one for like, what? I think SPD Pink? But yet, but yet laid down the line... All the yet yeah, one of the four SPD figure from Jack, Sky, Sid, and Bridge. One of the more for I Forgot which one it was. I, I can't keep up with all these damn figures, so please forgive me. But yet, at the same time, you guys go one step forward and two step backwards, and that's the problem here. That's the problem with this with this line in general. Like yes, I'm happy that uh. Power, I'm happy that our Power Rangers team is getting completed, yes. But at the same time, where are the other Power Rangers team? Like, Red Ninja Storm, Red Hell, fucking Austin. <laughs> Sorry, Red RPM. Like, dude, Red Mystic Force and Overdrive. Even though, even though I'm not a big fan of Overdrive or Mystic Force. But still, I like Mystic Force, but at the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of that show. And Overdrive is a personal... Or Drive is a guilty pressure just to watch for how trash it is. Yes, I love watching trash shows. Don't at me. But still, where are those teams? RPM? Jungle Fury? Samurai? Mega Force? Super Mega Force? Ninja Steel? Hell, Beast Morpher, hell, Beast Morpher is, is almost completed. Thank God. But still, Wrist Roxy and, and Wrist Steel. Like, I'm, like, this coming from me. I'm not even the biggest fan of Beast Morphers. I don't even like Beast Morphers that way. It's not, it's not one of my favorite. It's one of my least favorite, but still. So, what the hell? I want to complete Ghostbusters already, dude. I fucking love Ghostbusters. So why can't I have that... So why did it took... Why did it took, like, what? Three fucking... Four, three fucking years we got just to give us Zoe? Right after Blaze? My God, you guys are so slow. And I've been begging all... I've been begging for, like, the past years for the great Zoe. And thank God they finally listen. But my God, Hasbro, what the hell? This should be happening. <laughs> I want to say this. I just want to say this. Hasbro, I'm down to take pictures for your products because, well, I'll be honest with you. I... You... <laughs> You guys get you guys you guys you guys gonna give me a reason why 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 you don't want a toy photographer to take pictures for like your collection? Yes, I have a yes, I have a friend that I have a friend that talked to Hasbro well someone from Hasbro and he gave me his reason, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it between me and him. But uh listen Hasbro. Listen Hasbro. I'm saying I'm saying the next way possible. Listen. I'm down to take pictures for lightning collection figures. Hell yeah, I fucking love taking pictures of these toys. But yet, you guys gotta take care of the QC issues first. Then we can talk. <laughs> what am I saying like that? Are you trying to get a job, Aaron? Yeah, I actually am because well, I hate my job. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, what the hell's wrong with me? But uh, yeah though. 
But yeah, though, uh, Hasbro, I'm down to take pictures for y'all. I'm down to take pictures for y'all. I take, I, t I take me some mad pictures. I take good pictures, though. Like, <laughs> I pretty figure like that supermodels. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. But yeah, though, I treat these figures like the supermodels. Okay, I don't know why I say it like that, but that's a don't. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. But the point I'm trying to make is this, Hasbro. No, I'm not going to crit the line. Hell no, I'm not. But I am worried and have concerned that future products for this line are going to be getting the same treatment. And well, I want that to stop. Like, for real, I want that to stop. Because, shit, you guys are, you guys are, <laughs> shit, you guys are living, you guys are living, you guys are living, you guys are living, like, right now, and make it Tomash take my money, I fucking love Tomash Nation, like, so, but, yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I, I'll still support this line, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be picky with, with, with what figures to get, what figures not to get, like, how the heck, how the heck are your army troopers so good? Tangas, Putty, Cox, Putris. I heard a lot of good things about them. But why is it when come, but why the heck when it comes to a certain ranger or rangers, you treat them like crap? That's unacceptable and messed up. No, unacceptable and disgusting, disappointing. That need to change. Well, I'm gonna guess there's obviously a bias towards that, but come on, Hasbro, it's it's not good. No, it's not good. <sighs> if you wanna hear like another rant from a, from a non toy collector who don't who don't who don't like collect lightning collection, a friend of mine, and their name Mark, made a video like I think two years ago, and him. He made a video two years ago talking about why he stopped collecting light collecting figures. And, uh, I'm gonna put that video in the description for you guys to go watch. Because what he said there, very detailed, and everything he said there, pretty much how I felt and feel to this very day about this line. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's my whole, like, rant for lightning collection, we could say. And, uh, moving on from that topic. <laughs> oh, God. So, red apples. Oh, god damn. Okay, there you go. So, me and my friend watched episode two. Oh, god. <laughs> and, uh, he was joking, saying that I should do a review for it. And, well, I'm like, god damn it. I thought, like, no, I already do on my podcast. And I know he's watching this, by the way. You know who you are, best. <laughs> okay. So, well, episode two starts off with a fucking flashback. Oh, God. <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> episode two starts off with a flashback of this teacher talking about why, how much she loves sex. <laughs> yes, sex. Okay, okay, you two did not demolish the channel. Did not take the video down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. It, it, the teacher is a fucking pervert. <laughs> When I mean that, no, wait, see, that's it. See, let me confirm it said that in the second episode that she enjoyed having sex, including younger men, high school students, younger boys, teenage boys. And well, in the flashback, she saw a montage of her having sex with, te with high school boys, teenage boys in high school. Keep in mind, the flashback of her being a grown adult having sex with teenage boys. I'm like, why is this happening? Why is this a thing? And uh, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. Oh, God. Okay. So, the episode left off with the last scene of episode one. With If you, if you have not watched episode one, please go watch it. Don't watch If you want to know what I'm talking about, go watch it. But same time, God damn it. So episode one left off with the final scene of Sena's character, I forgot her name, and Judo's character. Well, the character the character the character that both the actor and actress are praying were in the art room and the Sena's character, who was the actress in the show, was touching Judo's character's groins, and uh, well, she got him hard and uh he uh and uh he 
He had a... Okay. He did a Kira Mickey. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I doing... Fuck it. He did a Kira Mickey. Okay? He did a Kira Mickey, but in a different way. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck is this show? He did a Kira Mickey. <laughs> God. Well, I'll just move a Kira Mickey from my son, many others. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> God damn it. And, uh... That and the teacher, pop the teacher came in and made kids as well. And uh, well, they were disappointed and like, what the hell's going on here? The teacher was feeling horny. She told the both, she told both the females to leave the room, but she told Sam's character that she wants, she wants to see her one of these days after class. And uh, I'm gonna get back on that very soon. But uh, that next scene stopped. With the teacher, I think I think she do lock the door, and uh, she told Judith Kennedy to put his pants down, and uh, well, she did it aggressively, and I uh, sucking his dick. <laughs> yeah, not not lying, not lying, that actually happened. Then, but it gets weirder. So, <laughs> god damn it. So the. <laughs> The you know, Jules character like Jules character what what get his meat get his meat suck his meat suck god damn it and uh he was trying he was trying not to get hard but like he failed and uh the one the weird one the gross thing happened in the episode he thought about his mom and uh I'm like wait 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 hold on hold on. Hold on, there better be no incessant state. Don't worry, my friend told me it's not, thank God. But I'm like, why, why do you think about his mom? Why do you think about his mom? Why do you think about his mom? And it shows, and it shows him, and it shows him fantasizing about his mom. With his mom. I can't, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Go watch episode two for yourself. And no, I'm not putting a link in the description. No. But so the teacher, so the teacher left him with blue balls. Apparently, see, fans stuck in his meat, and uh, she said that this is punishment. So a couple of scenes after, Judas character was embarrassed, and he talked to his mom about how much, how much he uh what, like what, like what respects sex or something. And uh, see, and she said, and, and she said her way in a weird, creepy. She said, "Hooray!" And uh, I think I think she was happy. I think she was happy about that. And, like it's some type of weird, creepy way. Like what the freak? So you're happy? Like so happy to know that your sunks? Sorry, sunk. Wait, sunks. Wait, what the fuck, sunks? <laughs> so you happy to know that your son want? So you happy to know that that your son announced sex? Even though the first episode, <laughs> he talked about people who have sex are losers. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> God damn! What the hell is this show? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Jill's character left his house at night and went to the sex club. And made act Mace care to follow him. <laughs> well, no, it didn't happen at night. This happened right after school. And Santa's actress, Santa's character in the show was walking home. I'm gonna guess. But the teacher went behind her, taser, kidnapped her, and brought her to a fucking, let's say sex, I, I don't know what else he brought her, some type of, uh, uh, fuck it, sex dungeon. She brought her to a fucking sex dungeon, I'm gonna guess. And uh, yeah, she tied her kid up, and she, uh, and, uh, she did it. <laughs> so, what my friend told me, that uh, there's a scene in the manga, that uh, the teacher did like a little, did like a lesbian hint. <laughs> Did like a little bit of lesbian sex with, with Santa's character in the manga, and uh, God, and boy, uh, oh boy, they teased it in the trailer for next episode, and uh, they and, and they somewhat did here a little bit too, but the te- but the but the teacher had a fucking dildo, no joke, she, <laughs> she had a fucking dildo. Now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this now. Why? Why is this show? God damn it! And uh, 
What else happened? Okay. Okay. Do them at the sex club. And, uh, a lot of people were paid A lot of people were. A lot of people, male, female, were paid off to have sex. And the leader of the sex club told Jules' kid to have sex with Jules' best friend's girlfriend. And Jules was like, wait, what? Oh, that ain't happening. But my friend told me that, uh, my friend told me that, uh, in the sh in the manga that uh, Jules character, Jules character did that already with the girlfriend, with with best friend's girlfriend. And I'm expecting that. And all I know, all I know that that shit's gonna happen in the show very really soon. God, I <laughs> this show. Keep in mind, this is episode two for record, and I don't know why I was saying like this. <laughs> what the fuck is the show? And uh. Hammy's character in the show. Yes, but Hammy's character in the show, right? <laughs> and guess what? She's a cop. And uh she's undercover. And uh, she said that and she said she would be she would be happily applaud <laughs> to have sex with Judo's character. <laughs> and uh well they went they went into a private room. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they went into a private room. Jules Cantor did a, Jules Cantor did the most weirdest fucking scream. He like, hee hee hee. I'm like, okay, buddy, calm down. Like, is it is your Akuma coming out? What if I'm watching Revice? I didn't know. Take the back. Revice, Revice was way more enjoyable than this crap. <laughs> I don't really like Revice, but still. <laughs> but, <laughs> God damn it. But uh, yeah, uh, he start he start humping her. Yeah, he started humping her, and uh, she stopped him, and uh, she said that she's a she's a cop, and he's under arrest. And that went episode. Well, before the episode ended, the final stand to was the teacher and Sana, the teacher and Sana's character were in the sex dungeon. <laughs> I'm calling her sex dungeon. I don't know. What, I don't know where the hell she brought this. I don't know where how the teacher brought her character. So I'm just calling her sex dungeon. <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, God, Sam's character agreed that she'll leave Jules Kidd alone to what the teacher, what the teacher wants Jules Kidd all to herself. But, uh, Sam's character got vengeance and TASER! With the TASER! And made unconscious. And she looked at the dildo and the teacher, and, uh, in the trailer, it showed the teacher tied up. Now and oh god, oh god, oh god! What the hell am I gonna be watching, Racer? Oh god, oh god, oh god! That's all I'm gonna say for episode. Fuck, I can't. This show, this this is only episode two. And it's so bad. Is it the first episode? Fuck no! It's torture. It's torture. It's fucking torture. I'm talking about a J drama about fucking sex on my show. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so moving on from that crap, I I sorry, I sorry I had to so I had to hurt you guys' ears and eyes for that. For record, no, I'm not saying any like the links. Hell no. If you will, no, okay, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm not saying the link in the description. Fuck no, that ain't happening. Cause well, cause well, I don't want to. That show isn't normal, and I don't want to torture. I want to, I don't want to torture any of my friends, except for one. I'm torturing one of my friends, and uh, he had he, he haven't watched any episode of it yet. So yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so we have SA figure arts. We had like we had news for SA figure arts. Hmm. <laughs> Spicy, yes, it's spicy. So, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I was asleep by when it happened. I was asleep, all right. I, I think I think I got off work that time, or I think I was I wasn't working, but I was sleeping, right. And uh, before I worked out, I woke up, and uh, I checked my phone and my Twitter. And Instagram were popping, were blowing up, saying Bukisatsu, this happened. Like, wait, what happened? Holy crap! Uh, they're making SA figures come by Nago. 
I'm like, holy shit, that's pretty cool, and hell yeah, I've been wanting this figure. Because now I go with my second favorite character in, in Jeets. So hell yeah, the trio is about to be completed. Listen, Tamashi, just make Tamashi, okay, Tamashi, hear me out, hear me out. Please, Tamashi, make Aoi's kaijin form from, from Black Sun. Matter of fact, fuck it. Make her to villain form too, because you fuckers, you fuckers are about to release this year a civilian form for Kotaro and Numisco. And I'll buy those two. But please, give me Aoi in her civilian and kaijin form. Please. That will help my fucking trio. Please do it. You know you want to do it. Do it, please. <laughs> uh, fuck. I think you all know that. I think better say that I'm pretty much the biggest Black Sun fan on Twitter, and I'm happy to take that title. I am number one decorator fan on Twitter, but I will also be the biggest Black Sun fan on Twitter. I might surprise how you how you have to show you number one on my list. Yeah, no. Sorry, there is nothing for me to resume. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, my Alexa just turned on. That's kind of weird. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't know why the hell my Alexa just turned on. Weird. But, uh, I'm actually surprised how, uh, I'm actually surprised how, uh, this show having <laughs> these drone builds. <laughs> but that's for another story for another day. So back on for the figure art new. We're, so we're getting that. We're getting the fucking, uh, we're getting the freaking boost form for Jeets. Hell yeah. Well, Magma, I could say. And we're also getting that. And we're also getting that. Uh, that one power up that he used like in, that that they used, used like what I think like what I think two episodes. It's the it's the freaking lottery power up they had they used in the show. So yeah, we're also getting that too apparently. So yeah. So yeah. And also, they also they uh they somewhat reveal, they also they show pictures of no oh cultural civilian form for Black Sun. Like oh hell yeah, that looks so good. I'm buying it anyway. I suddenly go I I, I do have plan again the bike race soon. When I get my money in my account, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's I'm happy. Also, happy Black History Month by the way, and uh. I don't talk about Black History Month because my race and my, well, and this stuff is really sensitive to me because, well, we can say that black people have not have the best of luck when it comes to, well, you know, yeah. And, uh, I can, and I want to say the benefit of that, these past, like, four days have been nothing but, but good to me. Some more than others, but, uh, still, because, like, my God, like, oh boy, I've been getting lucky every freaking day with some type of new luck. Like, okay, so when Nago's when, when Nago figure got revealed, I'm like, oh hell yeah, I'm fucking winning this shit because they revealed this and two other G figure and the and Black Sun. Oh, this is calling my name. It's Black History Month too. Hell yeah! <laughs> and I just got my Decker Ranger DVD today. By the way, I want to clarify that, and, uh, and that's a W. And yes, I will be rewatching this show for the fourth fucking time. I love Decker Rangers, the movie that's fun. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, uh, my copy of Izzy isn't bad. That's good. I, that, that's, that's a W. Coda, eh, not the best, but hey, I'll take it. But yeah, though, uh, the path, the pack of David Blunt every month been going pretty strong for me. Yeah, pretty good. I thought they pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I thought they pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Because when the last time Black Hippie Month was the best for me? Holy crap, I think twenty seventeen. Yeah, I think twenty seventeen was decent. Twenty I, I totally forgot I totally forgot what happened through twenty eighteen to like well, twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty Black Hippie Month wasn't the best. Same for twenty twenty one. And twenty twenty two last year. Well, that, well, 2022 Black History Month wasn't my best car. I got, a, I got a fight with a friend of mine, and uh, we, no, we, we were no longer friends. No, we are now. No, we are now, but yeah. Ooh. So, anyway. So, anyway. 
Back on back on the scene, he said, yeah, though, I say figures. I'm actually happy that, uh, I'm actually so happy that Naga's figure been revealed. I'm fucking happy. I already have, I already have Tycoon figure arts on pre-order on Tokyo Like the Balls. G figures coming out very soon, in fact. Like, I think, like, what? I think, uh, the 15th or 18th? One or two. But it's coming out very soon. So that's, that's good to hear. I have Buffer, I have Buffer pre-order on Premium Bandai US, so I'm all good there. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I will be pre or Nago. I'm go. I told my, I told to my friend that, uh, I'm gonna skip the Senkoku Seiho Fies in the Gokai Red, even though Fies is, a, uh, well, apparently, uh, according to Tomashi's website, Fies is getting a US release. So, we don't know what, we don't, we don't know what's going on there. I have been that next week, Team Kamen Rider will probably announce it. Saying that it's going to limit time on Tokyo Electables. So, yeah. I'm just guessing, by the way. So, yeah. So, that's also that, too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. For Gokai Red, I want him, but at the same time, I'm going to skip him. I'm skipping him just like Beats Gohan. <laughs> God, God, that form's so stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm skipping them for Nago. So, yeah. So yeah, that's happening. Can't wait. I can't wait to have Nago. The whole I can't wait to have all the G figures in my hand because I thought about this when I thought about this when they reveal her figure. With the way how Jeet is doing right now, I can see this show being my top ten. How I can see this I how I can see this show this drone build on my list. I can see this show. I can see this show be tied with build at number one on my list, and now that's that surprise. That's not that's not gonna be pretty shocking though, because Jesus, because I'm not the biggest fan of X A. We all know that I hate X A. Zero one was decent, but at the same time, not my favorite. And uh, I have my issue. With, I have my gripe with both of those shows. Well, I uh, have a whole, I uh, have like a one hour podcast episode of me talking about why I don't like X A. So. Yeah, so there's also that too, but still, with the way how Jesus is going right now, I could totally see the show be in my top ten. Like, fuck. Right now, I'm right now I'm getting a fucking like some type of vibe. Like the last time I enjoyed a comedy show, shit with Black Sun, and uh, Jesus gave me the exact same vibe. Like fuck, I think Jesus might be my favorite Raywall show by so far. God damn it. Like fuck, I read. I, Okay, I don't know why I'm bringing show up. I, I, I need to stop, but, uh... When Rewrite was airing, I felt like the show was missing something when the second half was happening. And, uh... The second, when the second half happened, that's when the show lost me. And, uh, well... I feel like Jeet is doing what Rewrite failed to do. And, uh... It has it had like a little extra flavor <laughs> to that show, and I, and I love it, and I love it, and I, I love it. Jesus do it, Jesus. Yes, by the way, Jesus going. It, I can totally see she'll be one of my favorites, and also, <sighs> I'm actually tempted. I'm actually tempted to go. Oh God, why am I to say this? I'm actually tempted to go buy a freaking Desire Driver. But at the same time, I don't want no DX toys. I hate. I don't hate. No, I. I just don't. I'm just not. I'm just not a DX toy type of guy. I'm more of a figure type of guy. So yeah, for record, clarify figures like Fiki Art and Lightning Collection. I can't do Yodos or Sodos. And yes, I know Sodos don't have no stickers. But correct me if I'm wrong. But but then the Sodo Go Kaiju set had stickers. Just saying, same for Gokai Silver, and I know that the Kaku Ranger set has stickers as well. So you want to explain that to me? Just, just saying, just, just saying. I mean, hey, your money, your money, but just saying, I just don't, I don't like stickers. <laughs> like the model kids, model kids really got on my nerves with, with, with freaking stickers. And the last kid I built last year was Blade, and that figure pissed me off to build. <laughs> I love that. I love building that kid, but at the same time, I hate it. I hate it too. So moving on. 
Oh boy, I just have so much anger towards <laughs> towards that kid. <laughs> ay ay ay. So back so back up saying, yeah, I can totally see Jeet. By the way how Jeet's going, I can totally see I can totally see the show being in my top ten. Who know? Who know? It might be up there. It might be up there with Black Sun, Kruger, Double, Decade, Blade, and Build. Cause those are my top six. I can totally see the show be up there be number like let's say seven. Fuck though. What the hell is my list? If I'm being honest. What the heck is my uh is my list for comedy shows? Cause well I have no idea what it is. Let's see how Trish going first off. Uh, I'll just check and relax. So what the heck is my uh <laughs> So what the heck is my uh, list for comedy shows? Oh, okay. So we have Build, Decade, Blade, Double, Kruger, Black Sun, Agito, RX, Kabuto, and Rizzo. I can totally... I can totally see this show. I can totally... Uh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. My bad. I can uh, totally... I can totally see uh, Jeets in the middle... Uh, Black Sun or Agito in the middle. It may take out because by this, by that happen, I it could I can see a show take I can see a show kick Wizard off my list. So that's so that's also that that's all that, that, that's well. For record, I like Wizard, so I don't hate Wizard. I actually enjoy Wizard though. Not not a perfect show, but no, I had a fun time watching it the first time. So yeah. But but so yeah, I can totally see I can totally see G dude. I can totally see G by go by this way being my top ten. Speaking of G's, that's all the Kansas song just came out and uh no it was my favorite one. God damn it. Oh crap, I can't play it now due to the the copyright reasons. Due to the copyright. But uh we had a chance, go listen to it. That's a, that's a really wholesome, really good. Like all the songs, my favorite are Buffos, K Wars, Nagos. Ace is my least favorite, but at the same time I need I need to listen to, I need to listen to it way more. So yeah. But Nagos song reminds me of Sakura song from Bokinger. Bokin Pink Sakura by the way, not Revive Sakura. Sakura song from Bokinger, her character song basically talk about her character, but Sakura. So the song the song talk about how yet see like not a complete I guess she's like an incomplete flawed person. And uh well the the song that song gave me the exact same vibe as Nago's character song and I, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yeah. So what we gotta talk about again? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh what else? Oh yeah, uh oh yeah, uh Fuck, damn it! We were talking about a lot of things on this episode. Well, to be fair, not really a lot, but... Uh, oh, yeah! Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, the, the first trailer for King Oja came out, like, not, not... Came out today. Well, tonight in Japan, but right now. But still. So, did my opinion change on it? Nope. Alright, uh, well, the action looks good. The action looks good. Still ain't like suit. I still don't like those suit things. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I'm not getting. I'm getting. I'm getting a saber vibe from it, and not in a good way. So yeah, that's just my opinion. So keep that in mind. But yeah. But yeah, Don't Boy's almost over, and that sucks. I love that show. It's not perfect, no. But uh, I like the show. In no way. The best way to describe Don Brothers, my good, my good sir, is that uh. The writing that he did for it was good. Also, at the same time, it was weird and bad. I mean, like, the negative part, like, I'm sorry. Duh. Well, this, this is this is a spoiler, but, uh, this is a certain episode that I got to do with Hadaka and, uh, Sorry Brother. And, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. So, yeah. It's mostly the second half, but still, that, that episode, 
the episode is not my favorite. I actually my least favorite. I just found the I just found the concept of the episode in her whole subplot about her being plays like plagiarist. Not the best, not good. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, though, don't bless. I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it though. I'm actually gonna miss it. It was fun. It was a fun show. It was. It was a hot mess too, but it was fun till it lasted. King Oger is almost here. Well, to be fair, I'm not. To be fair, I'm not fully hyped for King Oger. So there's also that too. I don't know, dude. The, those suits aren't. Those suits aren't aren't calling it to me. I can't explain why. I, I can't. They just they just look uninteresting in my opinion. <laughs> they just look uninteresting in my opinion. So uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> aye, aye. Ah, I wish those suits were good. Eh, they, they, they don't. They don't look good. They don't look good. They don't look good. Well, I hope my mind changed when the show comes up. Right now, just right now, right now, I have like I have like zero interest in King Oger. Well, that's it back. It's mostly at, it's mostly at two percent. I'm, I'm not like fully hyped for it like everyone else is. Cause dude, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just not fully hyped for it. I don't even care. I don't like even care right now for the DX toys, but to be fair, the DX toys aren't even out yet. But yeah, well, be honest, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a DX guy. But yeah, I keep getting mad lately at DX toys. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ah yeah yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> why do I keep getting mad at DX toys lately? Probably because, probably because I just really don't care for them. But yeah, I said that. I said that, but at the same time, I said on here I want a desire. I want a desire driver. But yeah, I don't want to buy one. I would get one. I would. Yeah, if I did, I would get one. But here's, but if, if I'm not saying I will. If I did get one, I'm not keeping promise. I'm not buying. Just keep in mind if it did happen. I'll only get for cosplay reason for KWA. That's it. I'm never a cosplay, even though my KWA cosplay would not be. I would not. It would not be the exact same. My KWA cosplay would not be the exact same as, well, the actual one from the show. No, I'll just get the freaking KWA logo shirt I have in my. I bought from Team Riot's Amazon store and with my Desire Jacket, Desire Grand Prix Jacket that I pre off to collectibles with the freaking Desire Driver and BAM! My k suit. And also, yes, I did pre- I did pure drip off to collectibles. <laughs> so, to collectibles, so Banner Japan had, has, um, on, I'm gonna get on that premium Banner website, a Grand Prix Jacket? I bought one. <laughs> the fuck here is why? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I want to expand. I want to expand it. I want to expand in my brand and my content. You kind of say. So me wearing this will also be me supporting one comrade in America and two, well, my YouTube channel. <laughs> even though. Even though I'm mostly, I'm mostly supporting Bandai and their products. <laughs> also, the jacket looked pretty cool. So, yeah. I bought off Tokyo Electables. I not want to know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also bought Mega Ranger hoodie up there, too. Why, Eric? I like Mega Ranger. Okay, shut up. <laughs> also, if the Triumph 2... If they want to... If they like what? Okay, that's weird. My dog's part. If they like what? The 25th or 22 in a version of Mega Ranger this year. You know? Well... I won a shirt. They didn't have a shirt, so the hoodie was the one that I bought. You know, well, the, the, the hoodie looked like it fit my size, so yeah, they for that. 
Also, I'm, but I'm losing a lot of weight too, so me wearing these jackets, me wearing the jacket and hoodie will help me a lot. Also, I have plans next year to go to Power Morphicon, so there's also that too. <laughs> Speaking of Power Morphicon, who's going to Power Morphicon? I am. Well, I can't say I am, but uh, I do have plans. I do want to. And I'm keeping my eye out, trying to save enough money so so I, I can go buy the tickets for, for me and my family. Okay, well, shit out. Shit. Dude. Yeah, this would be my, would be my first part of the convention, so yeah. If anyone sees me, I, I if anyone sees me that day, you will find you'll find a guy wearing a Desire Grand Prix hoodie. And will say, and, and you'll be saying, and you guys will say, hey, Bukusatsu! Like, oh, hey guys, so. <laughs> ay, 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 what the fuck? Ay, ay, what the fuck? <laughs> ay, ay, too funny. Funniest shit ever, that's for sure. So yeah. Also, I, also speaking of drip though, uh, your boy been cooking. So, so, um, okay, okay. So I want to say it better. I want to say it as nice as possible. So when September comes around, I will. Well, I won't. Be, I won't be uploading for three days. So, well, I won't say three days, but uh, matter of fact, now I'll wait. I got, I got time. To, I got time. To, I got time till September gets here to, to talk about that. It's nothing bad, but yeah. But uh, <laughs> speaking of drip, yeah, Desire Grand Prix jacket. I bought for like both. I bought it in about an extra large because that's my size. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I'll be wearing drip. Oh god, this jacket gives me a girlfriend, I'll be laughing my butt off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, what the freak? <laughs> hey dude, listen. I'll be honest, I just started 2023, and uh, well, last year was horrible. Because last year punched me in the face better than talk. Last year, uh, I. This is, this is hard for me to talk about, damn it, but fuck. Last year punched me in the face about 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 love and my god I could go one second without going outside in public seeing people holding hands or kissing each other like ugh I don't wanna see that shit. Like here's the thing here's the thing seeing that in public pisses me off. It gets me mad. <laughs> because I don't have anyone and that's why and I hate it. I fucking hate it. I get mad. I get so mad at that. I keep it to myself, but I get so mad at that because I don't have no one. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Where's mine? I don't have no one to do all that crap with. And yeah, I get so yeah, I get so mad about it. I'm so mad about it, by the way. But at the same time, I'm not in a hurry to find love. So you see what I'm trying to say, right? I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry to try and find a girlfriend, but yeah, at the same time, I don't want to see that crap in public. I sound like an asshole. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Ay, ay, ay. What the hell? For I get, if any girl, if any girl watches this, hello, I'm single, my dear. My Twitter and Instagram DMs are open. Okay, my parent, my family's outside talking about something. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, though. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm a, I'm single, I'm 22, and I'm an African man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm a 22 year old single African American. Well, African American without, can I say, can I say please? Yeah. With, uh, with a <laughs> fucking red Asian side. No joke, by the way. No joke, by the way. I could do. I could do have like an Asian side. I could do have an Asian me. Material, by the way. I'm a, I'm a mom material side of it, but yeah. So yeah, that's awesome. To be fair, I did make a lot of sense about me in in, in the way in the way yeah, I eat things and watch like a lot of Asian television shows. Like, 
they, like, uh, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, I watch a lot of that stuff, and this makes fucking sense for me. God damn it! And fuck, this also makes perfect sense because I fucking, I fucking love Parasite. That's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> damn it. And I have that movie on DVD too! Damn. I love find out. I love find out about more, more uh, hair, more like heritage I have inside my blood. Side me be well, black. So, yeah. To be fair, I think a lot of people love that about themselves. And well, you don't try to say, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not hurt to find love, but it does hurt me. It does hurt every day to see that. Uh, well. Everywhere I go, people are in love. I'm over here saying, damn, that's pre damn, that the freak. Okay, my phone's blowing up. What the heck? Damn, girl, so I get my DM? No, okay. Anyway, back, anyway, back on the saying is, uh, yeah, I'm like this every time, I'm like this, I'm like this, okay, okay, Perfect sailor this, I'm over here saying, saying that's cute and adorable, that they don't love, but yeah, at the same time, I'm over here and it fucking hurts too, it actually hurts, not gonna lie, it hurts, it hurts that, it hurts that I have like, well, I don't have like, I don't have like expect on someone in my life. And, uh, yeah. That just... That just hurts badly. It's like a punch in the gut every time. And I hate it. Yeah. 2023. This year will be a year I'll find a girlfriend. That's for sure. That's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> And well, when that day happens, I will, what, like what? I'll probably make a nap on my social medias, on my Twitter and Instagram, so yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ah, boy. Boy. Oh, boy. You talk about a lot of things on here. We talk about, well, Lightning Collection, how that has to really fix their crap. Tamashi Nations. To be fair, Tamashi Nation do way better than a Lightning Collection, just saying. That, I may be saying it in a biased standpoint, but I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. After Lightning, with the whole drama, whoopsie, with the brand and the figure QC issue. I think best way, I think best way to say that that figure arts are are the superior Toku figure toy line. In my opinion. In my opinion. In my opinion. So yeah. And uh and yeah. <laughs> we talk about that. We talk about love. We talk about well Jeets. How yeah, Jeets might become Jeets has become one of my favorite after after every episode ends. Talk about we talk about Nago's character song that I can't play on here due to copyright reasons. And uh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh I already said one, but yeah, I got my Dead Rings DVD on I got my Dead Rings D V D today. It came in. And I'm 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 very happy about this, my god. But those that follow me on Twitter, you know how much I love this show. And uh well I if you guys want me to like a, if you guys want me to like an honest, uh, a full non-biased video, video for, a full non-biased review of my podcast on this show, I already did it, I already did it, it's my first episode, I did it last year, but uh, like a brand new one, refresh, brand new everything, I would do it, I would actually do it, I would actually do it. Like this video, if this video, if this video, if this video get to, if this video get to, if, damn it, if this video gets to like, okay, let's say, 200, 
100 likes for, just make it simple, let's say 20 or 100, yeah, 100 likes, then well, I will review Decker Ranger on this podcast like I did for like Arbor Ranger. <laughs> so yeah, I will review Decker Ranger on this podcast again. But a brand new one, but a brand new, uh, but a brand new review, non biased and refresh as well. Because well, my first episode last year on the podcast was Decker Ranger, and uh, and now I have the now I have the show fully legally licensed, officially sub as well. I can make that dream happen. So yeah, and my phone's going off. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, post notification buttons on for the next video, which will probably be in my next toy review, which which are gonna which are gonna be like let's say okay. Which is probably gonna be on like a lightning collection figures. I know, shocking, oh boy. But uh don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This figure it this figure is good. Next week's video is gonna be on the lightning collection, Beast More for Yellow. Come on. Well, I had a lot of thoughts and pros and cons about Zoe figure. I want to get them out on the video. So, yeah, expect that next week. And, uh, yeah, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Post the notification button. Yeah, put, post, post, put the notification button on for the next video. And follow me on my, follow me on all my socials. And, uh, peace. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And share this video as well because well, I'm trying to get up to I'm, I'm trying to get up to like what? Like I'm trying to get up to a thousand subs this year. Sorry for southern me, but yeah. The boy is trying to get to a thousand subs this year. And with you guys' help, I can do it. So yeah, thank you all. And have a nice night. My name's Aaron and uh or Broku, whatever you want to call me. And uh, I'm out. Peace!